Welcome back everyone. I just got the iPhone 12's 45,000 hours after everyone else has gotten theirs, but totally okay. And UPS was the one delivering this and I, if they weren't going to deliver on time, I was going to make a huge exposed video on them. <laughs> it wasn't going to expose anything, it was just going to be like me ranting and raving, but I went ahead and just unboxed the iPhone 12 Pro, so let's go and start unboxing this bad boy. Now Apple did cut down the size of this box quite a bit, which I'm really, you know, I'm kind of indifferent about, I really don't care too much, taking out the plastic, and actually before I even unbox it, Comparing the size of the box to a phone box just like the iPhone XR for example, you can see how much thinner Apple made the iPhone 12 Pro box or iPhone 12 box and even compared to something like the iPhone SE 2 box that you know they just shipped out this year, I mean look at those differences, you know it's a pretty big difference. They're definitely saving a lot of cardboard but honestly they could save a little bit more and I'll explain in a second. So taking up the top you can see we have a little slit up top and that's really pretty much it on the outside. The box feels exactly the same. And then we have the iPhone 12 itself, which looks so clean. Now I did get the white version. I was pr I was thinking about getting like the black version or whatever, but I have my iPhone 11. That's a white one, and I kind of liked it. Now taking out now they took out that regular plastic little film they had on top in favor of like a paper type of kind of one with like a silicone whatever that is. I don't really know. But after unboxing, you have pretty much the iPhone itself, which looks very clean, looks almost exactly like the iPhone 12 Pro. And turning it on, which the buttons right here, I'm just so used to having like a flat edged phone. I feel like Apple should have put the power button up top because on a phone like the iPhone 5 and iPhone SE with the flat sides, they still have the thing up top. Now, let me unbox the rest and I'll do a little bit of comparison between this and the other models. Now you have the USB Type-C lightning port right here, which I'm pretty sure everyone already knows. And you also have the little pamphlet, which like I said before, I mean, I think Apple, it, you know, if is this a legality? Is there a reason? And they only have one Apple sticker. I don't know if this is a legal reason why they have to include this in. I feel like if they didn't, they probably could have saved so much stuff because I don't think anybody reads those, to be completely honest. Like, I, I've never read one in my life. But that pretty much covers up the unboxing. Now, looking at this thing, comparing it to my iPhone 11, you can see, first of all, these both are the white versions. And just look at actually how much more, I think, warmer the iPhone 12 looks. I mean, it's the same one. You can see how this one looks more white. This one looks more tan. I don't know why, but the modules look exactly the same. And if I like did like that, I don't think I could probably tell the difference between an iPhone 11 and iPhone 12 unless you kind of went like this. Now on the front, they both look kind of the same. The iPhone 12 is said to be like a little bit smaller in every dimension, and I kind of feel like that. And even comparing the iPhone 12 really quickly to the iPhone 12 Pro, I mean, the biggest difference as far as I see, obviously this one's faster and everything, is pretty much the ceramic sides, like the iPhone 12 feels a little bit different. And the frosted back on the iPhone 12 feels a little bit different. It doesn't feel as frosted as something like the iPhone 11 Pro, which felt really frosted. So maybe people care, maybe people don't, but... I'll probably be using the 12 Pro as my main device and kind of go from there and see what happens. But let me go ahead and go through the rest of this little bit of setup and it should only take a couple of seconds, but I'm already kind of digging the way this phone looks. And I don't really, honestly, I don't really see a big diff. Actually, I might see a big, di not a big difference, but a little bit of difference between this panel and the iPhone 11 panel. One thing that I saw all the time was, first of all, viewing angles are really good, but this panel, I can tell it's an OLED panel. I can tell it looks good. I don't really have any issues with it. And that's something that time and time again, I've pretty much been saying that, you know, the OLED panels are better than IPS panels, but Apple has done a really good job so far on their iPhone 10 or iPhone 11 lineup. I was kind of wrong in the beginning with, but for sure when it comes down to the panel of this device, for it being $829, I think it's a pretty good panel. But when you look at a phone like the OnePlus 8T or something else like that, that phone kind of costs the same amount as this one. And that one is able to have a 120 hertz refresh rate display. And I think that phone probably feels a little bit more premium than this one. I even have the OnePlus 8T right here. I totally forgot I had it. And this one, in my opinion, kind of feels a little bit more premium. You have that frosted back as well, and I think the back looks so much better on this phone than this phone. But it is what it is, there's nothing we can really do about it. And we are inside of the phone itself. And I'm actually really, really excited to go through this phone and like use it and compare it to all the other ones. I'm curious to see what the main differences are and everything, and even compared to the iPhone 11. I'm going to have a ton of comparisons out tomorrow, so keep a lock down on the channel, subscribe if you don't want to miss those. But my consensus is, is that, you know, iOS is iOS is going to be exactly the same when I'm using the device. But the outside, I actually do like it a lot. You know, it's a familiar design. It's something that Apple has been, you know, using before. And I actually like it. I think with a phone like this, it does look pretty good. In. And it is a little bit of difference coming from a phone like an iPhone 11. So uh, we'll figure it out tomorrow if it's worth upgrading from the iPhone 11 to the iPhone 12. But that really pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button.
every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything else. I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.